what's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new review. Well, a few years back a PC used to look something like this. They are big, they are loud, they are kind of expensive and a lot of them weren't that powerful. Well, these days you can buy a PC that looks like this. You can fit it in your palm and this one is actually five times more powerful than that PC that I showed you earlier. So this is what's called a PC stick and this particular one that we have today is made by a company called Mili and the model name is PC-G02APO. So this is basically a mini PC that runs Windows 10. You can get this for about $170 and for that price we get the Intel N3450 CPU, we get 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. Of course, you're gonna have some limitations due to that low internal storage, but all that it's packed in a very small form factor. Inside the box you're gonna find the PC stick itself and you're also gonna find the power adapter and this powers the PC stick through a micro USB port that's on the side of the PC stick and aside from that you're gonna find the female to female HDMI adapter and this is useful depending where you're plugging this in because some TVs and some monitors don't have a very accessible HDMI port. So this you could use like an HDMI cable so you can actually plug it in if you can't reach that HDMI port wherever you're plugging it in. The device itself is very small, you can hold it in your palm and you can easily take it to do anywhere because it's that small so you can put it in your purse, in your backpack, anywhere you can carry this to do anywhere. So this is mostly made out of um, plastic and at the top and at the bottom we have the heat sinks. I recommend that you keep it on its side whenever you're using it. I'm not sure if that's gonna be possible for everyone but I noticed that if you lay this flat on its back it's gonna get warmer than um, normal. So if you keep it on a side the heat can dissipate much better. I know this is not gonna be possible for everyone but if it's possible I do recommend that you keep it on its side. On the right hand side we have a slot for an SD card and that's very useful because um, as I said we only have 32 gigs of internal storage and realistically Windows takes about um, 20 gigs of that um, 32 gigs so you're only left with about um, 10 gigs of internal storage and the speeds for that internal storage aren't the greatest um, speeds out there so that um, SD card slot is definitely useful so you can expand the internal storage a bit. Next to that SD card slot we also have the external Wi-Fi antenna and this device supports dual band Wi-Fi and of course I checked the speeds and the range over um, Wi-Fi and over a wired connection and the speeds are among the best that I've seen for any PC stick or any mini PC so definitely no uh, problems for connectivity with this device. And moving to the back of it, there we have a gigabit um, network adapter port and we also have a 3.5mm audio jack so you could uh, plug in some headphones, you can plug in some speakers or anything like that because um, if you're plugging this into a monitor, a computer monitor, that one doesn't have speakers so that's why it's useful to have that 3.5mm audio jack. And moving to the other side of the device there we have the only two USB ports and the power button. Now I know that two USB ports isn't gonna be enough but you can always use like a USB dongle. Now keep in mind that if you're gonna plug in hard drives to this some hard drives will work but some may not work because they don't get enough power and if that happens you may have to buy um, a powered USB dongle and then um, all the external hard drives that you're gonna plug in will work. Now the two that I tried um, did work without any issues but um, I can imagine that there are some um, external drives out there that aren't exactly gonna work um, just like this. When you first turn this on you're gonna have to set it up just like any other computer um, using Windows 10 and this comes pre-installed with Windows 10 the home edition and uh, this is also an activated copy of Windows 10. So you're gonna have to select the language, the region and so on and the PC stick is gonna find a whole bunch of updates and it's gonna take about four hours to finish all those updates and I'm not joking it's gonna take a long long time to do those updates so just keep that in mind whenever you're setting this up um, it's not gonna be that fast. Since this is running a full copy of Windows 10 of course you have access to all the features um, that uh, Windows 10 has to offer just like um, you would on any other computer out there including updates for um, Windows and of course access to the Windows Store where you can download applications and programs and so on. Since I tried quite a few mini PCs, tablets and notebooks using the Intel N3450 I was very curious to see what benchmark scores um, I would get to this device. So I installed Passmark and the Geekbench 4 and I ran those and um, surprisingly enough we got a score about 10% higher than most um, devices that I used using the N3450. So very very surprised to see that. 
So what can you do with one of these? Well, you can do anything that you do the normal computer, but you may have some limitations depending on what you're doing. And of course, because we have that Intel N3450 and that's not the most powerful CPU out there. So for example, let's say that you like watching YouTube videos. If you're going to use Chrome, you can watch YouTube videos at 1080p at 60 frames per second without any lag or any issues. But if you plan on watching YouTube videos at a higher resolution, I do recommend that you use the built-in browser because that one works much better for videos at a higher resolution. And that probably has to do the software optimization for Chrome. Now, if you like um, listening to music from YouTube and opening other tabs and using other tabs at the same time, that's also possible and the PC stick, it's not going to slow down at all. You can also use this for Netflix. So you plug this in um, behind your TV and even if you don't have a smart TV, you can have Netflix um, on your TV. Now I downloaded the Netflix app from the Windows Store and it works great, but if you don't want to download it from the Windows Store, you can always um, use it in the browser and that also works great. And I've also tried other apps like Netflix, so like Amazon Video and that one works great as well. So for multimedia, this is going to be great. You can also play games with it, but the gaming experience is not that great. I mean, there is a lot of lag, a lot of skipped frames, and the PC still gets fairly hot whenever you're um, gaming. So whenever it gets hot, of course, there will be throttling and the gaming um, experience will become even worse. So I'm going to let you watch for a few seconds, but you can definitely tell that a, a light game like Asphalt uh, 8 that I played wasn't doing that great on it. You can even do some light editing with this and um, I'm not talking about video editing even though I did use a tablet uh, that had the Intel N3450 in the past for video editing and it worked but it took um, quite a while but I'm talking about picture editing. Now it depends what um, program you're using for editing because if you're using a lighter one it's gonna work if you're using something heavy like Photoshop that uh, may not work that well. And um, the experience is okay. I mean, there is a bit of lag and a bit of a delay here and there, but um, overall it's usable for picture editing. This can also be used to watch some video files and for video files it does great. Now the Intel N3450 wasn't designed to do 4K at 60 frames per second or at 50 frames per second. So if you're planning to watch any of those files, those files aren't going to do great. They will lag and they will uh, be like in slow motion. However, if you do use this for 4K at 30 frames per second, all that um, works great without any lag. So this is going to be great for 4K at 30 frames per second. And next, um, I'm also going to show you some other files that um, I tried with it. Most of them worked without any issues, but um, I'm just going to let you watch and see which did good and which didn't.
And it's time to conclude this video. So if you're looking for an inexpensive PC so you can do some basic tasks like watching YouTube videos, checking out pictures, browsing the internet and uh, watching Netflix movies, well, this is going to do great. But if um, you need a PC to play games and stuff like that, this is not going to be good for you. Plus, you're going to be limited by the internal storage because you can't exactly install any big games on that um, 10 gigs uh, of storage that we have left. Now, of course, you can always install um, an SD card and you can expand um, the internal storage that way. But um, you will have some limitations with something uh, this small. But for basic uh, tasks, this should be more than okay. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.